Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Risen to Dark Waters. I'm Zexor, your host. This is part 174 of the series. We're talking with Alvarez here. He got really upset that we made deals with people to uh, get our trade onto the onto his ship, slain ship, and on my ship. Although uh, the deal's a deal, and according to the creed, you don't break that. So he's upset, but he told us to go read the book of the creed, so we will. But I'm going to finish the conversation here with him if I can. So I want to fight Mara. I don't know yet. So what do you suggest? You must finish what we other captains began. It has fallen to you to correct our mistakes. This man talks like my father, stubborn as the constipated ox. <laughs> your father is the leader of your clan. He is. I can tell by the look of pride on your face. Okay, hang on one second here. I'm gonna... It's like... With uh, the sound... See, the effects volume is still too high, I think. Or ambient volume. One of the two. Not sure if those are gonna be ambient sounds or not. Let me try that, though, and see if that's a little bit better now. Because he was awfully quiet. I couldn't really hear him speak, so... What was it you did? I sent Steelbeard and his fleet to steal the treasure of the water temple. Steelbeard and the three other captains under his command took the four Titan artifacts from the temple, but in the process they woke a monster and damned themselves forevermore. Water temple? A lonely old stronghold in the sea. A terrible, dangerous place, as we soon discovered. And that's where Steelbeard got this curse of his. The curse he passed on to me. Yes, you will bear the curse as long as Mara lives. You and the other captains, too. Each of you is cursed in a different way. Each of you may yet share Steelbeard's fate. Okay, uh... What else do you know about the captain's curse? Mara sent her creatures to exact her revenge on the temple's violators, the sunken ones who rose from the depths of the sea, depths of hell. Crow and Garcia surrendered to her, became subject to her will. She is an evil creature, evil incarnate. I surrender to no one. You talk a good fight. But Mara has already turned two captains to her side. And as Steelbeard's heir, she'll be after you, too. Don't underestimate her, my boy. Garcia is dead. Dead? But where is his artifact? His karma, very bad. I took it from him. Well, that's what. To be honest, I thought Garcia beyond you. You have done well, Captain. Carry on, Captain. We need all the artifacts before Mara lays waste to everything. Mm, I don't know how much I should surrender to him. I'm wondering if he betrays me too, or potentially. Uh... Where is this water temple? That I do not know. Steelbeard alone knew where to find it. That is one of the reasons I made him captain of captains. I see. Do you? Once we have all four artifacts, what then? We use them against Mara, of course. Simple-minded strut. We have to find Mara first. No. We have to find the artifacts first. Mara can wait. Easy for you to say. You haven't got a curse hanging over your sorry ass. Trust me, my boy. We will find a way. We better had. Or I might be handing out a few curses of my own. Good luck, Captain. Safe journey. Uh, well, yeah, okay. I don't know. 
Okay, so he told me to read the book of the Creed. And uh, basically he's set up in his office, right? So, go up here, I guess. Um, I don't know where. Or at this point, if I can steal anything. I'll be able to take potentially before Alvarez might get back so okay let's see oh no oh. easier so guess I'll wait so we can go to sleep up there it looks like Pirates Creed Quill. Okay. The eight rules of the Pirates Creed. One, on his own ship a captain's word is law. Two, he who finds it can keep it. Three, never shy away from a good fight. Four, the means justifies the ends. Five, a deal is a deal. Six, don't start a war in your own harbor. Seven, both parties have to agree to a duel in their own harbor. 8. Whoever breaks the creed must suffer death or dishonor. Alright, so... Read that now. Here's another map of Antigua. So I suppose technically I didn't need to to pay for that other map. That's awesome. Ah, uh, well. Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. Whatever. Treasure map, very nice. Oh, I like that. That's very good. Nice, okay. The militia had sentenced me to death by hanging. So there I was, standing on the gallows, rope around my neck and waiting for my final drop. When my old mate Greg showed and shot through the rope just in time. I still keep the rope in the storehouse as a souvenir of my escape. That's one lucky bastard. Hangman's news, okay. Here, wine equates to provisions. Okay. Okay. So at this point, I guess let's go to get the treasure on the western beach. Jump here. 
Okay, and so I will go down. Right, so now I need to kind of go left, so we're heading west more. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's see. Getting close. I'm not quite there yet. A little bit of extra loot is always helpful, right? I just want to pick those skulls up. Dang it. I really want badly to get those skulls. Alright, so that's going to be up here. Aha. I was going to say up above here. Yep. Right here. Perfect. Sweetness getting fat loot. Getting close to time on this par, about two minutes left. Easy does it. Okay. See what we got. Diamond, nice. Not bad. It's not amazing. It's at 150, 275, 375, 625. But still, 625 more than what I had. Plus, I don't know, but I might need the diamond for something. So, ah, that's good enough. Okay, so. Ouch. I just let you open it again. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's return to shi the ship. I think. Yeah, let's go here and then let me go talk to Slain. Actually, I think. Alright, let's go. Alvarez is not waiting for us now. He's gone to sleepy by. So I can probably just talk to Slain now. Since he might try to kill me, or actually kill me with a cutscene, I don't know, let me do that. That's everything we need to put to sea. Then there's nothing to keep us here, sport. It'll be good to get out of this rat's nest. Just tell me when you're ready to go. We can now leave Antigua. Then get on that boat of yours. Tell your helmsman to put you ashore on the Isle of Thieves. Isle of Thieves? You'll see once you get there. All right, but you better not be far behind. Don't worry, sport. I'll be there. I'll see you on the Isle of Thieves. Okay, so we'll return to our ship. Yep. And then... These last couple of things. I got the Earth Amulet. Then we have another Titan artifact. And it better be worth all the effort it took getting it. It's that or you can pull your famous scowl and see if Mara runs away. If it doesn't even work on you. Oh no, I'm staying. We've got a lot to do. Okay. Both ships are fully stocked. Oh, you really are my hero. <laughs> Slane says he wants to meet me on the Isle of Thieves. Hmm, I know where it is, but not much else about it. The name's not that encouraging. If you die, I guess we'll know it was a trap. <laughs> guess so. It's time to set a new course. Aye, aye, Captain. Alright, so the Isle of Thieves is right here. It's a new course, and I'm guessing... So this is the Isle of the Dead. I'm guessing this is the Isle of Storms, then. Well, one of these two. Anyway, uh, okay, so we're going to go to the Isle of Thieves. 
let's do the cutscene, and then uh, we'll end this episode. I think after that, after this cutscene finishes, after we arrive at the Isle of Thieves. Assuming there's not some big long cinematic when we get there because we get betrayed or something, which is always possible. I'll let this one go a little bit longer than normal also. Some of these, in the, in the past I should have done this too, I now I'm thinking, but for some of these special scenes and stuff, we'll just let the episode go long. So... Tree's kind of wigging out there on the graphic, but that's all right. Okay, so that's it. We'll go ahead and end this Let's Play Risen to Dark Waters, part 174. I'm Zexorn, have been your host. In the next part, we'll continue on the Isle of Thieves and go from there. Until next time, ta-ta, everyone!